Alright, I'm back. Guess what? Durr, blah, 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 blah. You got the filter class. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and do the control points now. So go ahead and put down a a um, team control point. You can hide it if you want, technically. Team control point. And go ahead and take it and put it over your single lobber. And we're going to name it CP underscore one. Uh, start disabled. No, John. And previous point, blue previous point required. You're going to want CP one. That means that uh, no previous points are required. You need to do that. Okay, that's that. Um, I feel like there's also a. Oh, flags. Uh, you can start with the model hidden if you want. If you want. Let me go ahead and go back to my my map. I know it's not a work of art yet, but it's not finished, so don't bug us me. Um. God damn it. Okay, go to the path track. You're gonna get a lot of outputs. And we're gonna copy all those. Just because I'm lazy. I'm that lazy. And we're gonna I'll walk you through them, don't worry. Alright, so underneath the, your control point, you're gonna go to outputs, paste. Okay. On pass, logic. Oh, these are for mine. Actually we you don't need that one. Uh that that one you don't need. That's all I'm for my about. Um on pass, car, we called it Sparks. Sparks. We called it Sparks. Stop Sparks. On pass, timer, add team timer, and then. Oh god, what's the primary override of like just type in 3240? I'm not really quite sure how it works, but I just do it. On pass, push zone. Uh, I mean, it's gonna. We called it capture or something. We called it capture. What do we call it? Capture area. So on pass, capture area, capture current CP. On pass, uh, capture bell. Wait, where's my capture bell? Let's see. What is the capture bell? Is that the capture bell? Yeah, that's the capture bell. So that's the capture bell. Um, and then on pass, CP prop one. Oh, actually, I forgot to name it, so we can do it right now. Um, we're gonna go down to here, and we're gonna go ahead and name this CP underscore prop underscore one. And uh, that that's all the outputs. So CP prop one under uh, CP on pass CP underscore prop one skin one on pass CP underscore one set owner parameter override of three delay point ten seconds. Um, that's all that. Let's see any flags. No, no flags. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. If you want, you can put an output called add on pass disable or no, I'm sorry. Let's say let's. Pre I'm not going to do it in this video, but let's pretend I had a, a, a cat another path right here or right before it, right right around here. I could do something like outputs on pass capture area it would be like 
um, path 10 underscore disable so that way the cart can't move backwards alright no, it's just disable not disable alternate path let me do that but I'm not going to do that for this map but technically you could so that's the first control point oh I also got set the default owner uh... where's the default owner Default owner is red. Why? That's coming. Da, 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 da. We're gonna add another control point. Let's go ahead and put another one down. First, let's go ahead and get out. Let's, um, let's call this one CP underscore prop underscore two. Make sure this is prop dynamic. Another guy down. And we're gonna call him Team Control Point. Team Control Point. Fly. Name. We're gonna call this CP underscore two. Um. We're going to do default owner. Red. Um, uh, index one. You can set the name if you want, but you, if you're an advanced, if you should be an advanced user, if you're watching this, you should know how to do that already. Um, oh, okay. So now we're gonna go back to file. We're gonna go back to my map, and we're gonna go along the track. Uh, here's my control point too. Oh, oh shoot, I almost forgot. Let's go ahead and copy this. Go back to your texture. Go back to your map. Go back to this control point. Go to outputs. Hit it. I'm going to go ahead and paste this one. It'll be on cap, team 2. Push zone. It'll be, we had called it capture area. Set control point. And then we're going to, since this one, it's going to be CP2. So that's telling it this is the next control point. He needs to cap. Go ahead and do the paste then back here. Okay. So there's that. Um, go back to my map. Oh, let me just think. Oh, all right. So. Go back to your texture or whatever you meant this. Go back to the beginning and go to train watcher. And you'll see node that path starts, node that path ends. So we, I haven't set a path end yet, but um, linked path. Let's see. Uh, the path that's on is path 21. So go to your train watcher and do linked uh, linked path track. We're going to call it path 21. Oops. Underscore 21. And the linked control point for that path is control point 1. And then we're going to go back and do it again. This is control point here. It was path 36. Okay, so that's con linked to control point two. And I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this stuff here. So it doesn't come up in red. Okay, that's that. Let's see what else. What else? What else? Um, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and dig a hole in the ground here. So there's something for our payload to fall into. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna make a big square. 
Okay. Cut another hole right around here. Put another hole here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down. Bring this down. Make it hollow. You don't have to do this how I'm doing it. Uh, make hollow. Okay. Wait. Oh, oops. Control U to ungroup it. There we go. Now we've got a big square in the ground. Perfect. Perfect for dropping bombs into. Um, I'm gonna add another path going down here. I'll add more track layer. Just don't feel like it. And then that's so path. Next up target. There is not a next. So the last path is going to be path 40. So I'm going to go to my train watcher and know that path ends will be path underscore 40. Alright. So um, let's see what else. Let me go back to my map. And let's go ahead and skip to the very end. I know my map needs still needs some work. And uh, let's go ahead and add a go to our bomb. We'll add a few sound. I'm gonna go ahead and copy these sounds up. Don't do lazy. Bring up. Actually, got the shake. Oops. Go ahead and click copy. I'm gonna go to our map. I'm gonna go to the end. These in here. Where are they? Where'd they go? Where are they? Why are they over here? Ah, shoot. There as we goes. Okay. Um yes, I will. You know, I'll I'll figure out the exact positioning later. Okay. Oh, Where are they? Alright, I'll figure it out later. Um so just keep those there. We gotta move those. Alright, so, uh, put down another control point. And we're gonna call do team control point. Fly. And we're gonna call it control point underscore three. No. Uh, red. Um. Default owner. Red. Start locked uh, uh index, change the index. Call this index two. Alright, and then make sure to put this over the hole. And we're also going to uh just because it would look ugly if it was just floating midair. We're gonna do uh, flags, we're gonna hide control point. Oh no, uh, I mean start with small hidden. And since we're not going to tell it to not hide, I mean to never unhide, where it's going to stay hidden the whole map. So you won't see this ugly floating single bobber in the sky. Oh, I almost forgot. Did I forget to add the outputs for this here? I'm jumping around. Am I jumping around? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. 
You probably got confused. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm being so sorry. Okay, no. Outputs, copies. Copies. I'm going to my map. Go back here. Outputs, paste. Okay, basically the same thing. On CP Prop 2, skin. Same thing as last time, except just change your names. Um, just change the names so that they fit what was you're doing here. Oh, what's the path? Oh, we're not going to. Are we going to do that? Yeah, let's go ahead. So, uh, here, this time I'll show you. So, it says, um, on path, 76, disable, path. And we want to disable actually 35 this time. So we're going to say disable half 35. What the? Oh, come on. Did it really crash? Here, I'll pause it. I'll stop and re show the video in a second. Anyway, we're at 60.